Are you ready to get chest? I am. I, 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 I honestly don't know what to expect after winning this the spring championships. I don't know where we could go from here. We got a terrorist on the loose, another one having broken into the school. We have a data chip from uh, Kana, our f ex vice president, which could lead us to our mother. The next day, we still have the, 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 the tease of the missing chess club president. Hello, everyone. Hold on. Are they serious? They wanted to buy the entire drone cash? Why would Yoshino go through with that? For the money. As Kana said, everything was done by the books. So nothing could be brought to court. During Calvin's investigation this morning, Kaito and I did see did some extra research on the history of the Typhoon Initiative. Did it? it? Seems that a majority of the bombings and attacks attributed to them happened over five years ago. Which means it likely stopped when him whatever happened with Himiko's mother and she left the initiative. Five years, there's that number again. Apparently that's when my mother left the organization and Kana took control of the group. Did Kana really take the initiative in a different direction? Priest offenses could very well be splinter cells or rogue members acting independently of Kana's orders. Or like Shiro said earlier, the government could be using propaganda to blame them for unrelated attacks. Also true. All we can say for certain is that Kana was after those security drones. Had she followed through with that plan, it's possible her philosophy could have changed. Hey, you really had the authority to hand out militarized equipment to a terrorist faction. It's a bit more complicated, complicated than that, but yes. I... The drones are kind of the school property, so giving them to an individual wouldn't be against any laws. Despite the guns. You guys really need to fix your legal process. You're not wrong, Cal. You're not wrong, Cal. What's important is that Himiko stopped it all from happening. Happen, happening above board. It was an impressive victory. I didn't even have to use my mystic eyes uh, of chess perception. Oh, totally. I even looked up for my manga to see the action. Wow, that means a lot coming from you, Yasu. Oh, it was very brave, but you really should have left this to the authorities. Mr. Cross, they explained that Yoshino was helping to cover up the initiative's wrongdoings. I think my Aikawa voice keeps changing. Yeah, that's a very evil move on their part. Bad, Yoshino. Right, I just can see why that that would be an issue. Oh well, it's over now. We start clawing out the roots of their influence on this institution. We won't stop until we've ceased all deals between the two groups, and we'll be keeping a close eye on this school from now on. That's good to hear, but what about Kana and Azumi? They were both apprehended last night. We've charged Azumi for attempted murder, but Kana seems too well equipped for this sort of situation. It seems she's hired an astounding lawyer. Oh! I honestly don't think she'll be in custody for long. After all that, she's still able to get away from this. Himiko, if your theory is true, Kana really did give the order to kill you. My guess is that Kana would rather see me dead than let me acquire the prize money. She knew I was opposing her. Do what I'd be able to do with the fame and fortune that this tournament provided. That this tournament provided. But a sad twist of fate, it seems her retaliation backfired in the worst way possible. I can't believe this is happening. Not to worry. Even though the police can't definitively link her to any crimes, I'll make sure she doesn't do anything reckless. We'll use surveillance to prevent her from meeting with any of her conspirators. Despicable. She exclaimed her orders to Azumi out loud on stage, and that's not enough to lock her away. It's the best we can do at this point. I'm sorry. And Shiro, will he be okay? I'm afraid he suffered too much blood loss. He's in a coma. I'm not sure when or even if he'll be conscious again. Shiro was Klana's closest ally. I wonder how she'll react to this news. Anyway, I believe I've taken up enough of your time. Sorry for dragging you all out here, even though they cancelled school for today. It's not a problem. We're all trying our best to protect what we hold most dear. That's right. We went through this trouble because we want the students of this school to feel safe during their time on campus. That's quite the positive, positive attitude, Himiko. Eh, too soon. 
Now the P-word is positively starting to give me nightmares. Why don't we all get something to eat? It'll be my treat. Actually, I'd like to discuss something with the club members, if you don't mind. Of course, we'll let your kids wind down for today. See you around, amigo. I'm proud of what you've done today. Oh, I was hoping Mr. Cross would give us free food. I would have ordered an entire feast. Objection. That was on the table. He must have really good hearing. He does. Let's talk in the club room. Sure thing. I'll meet you guys there. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> yes, everything went exactly as planned. Those idiots actually believed that I was trying to help this pathetic excuse for high school. Can't hold in the laughter anymore. It's all too easy. <laughs> I've won! It's over for you, Mother. Everything you've worked so hard to create is crumbling by my own hands. Everyone caught a glimpse of my true feelings at the game last night. I was so close to losing my cover. Thankfully, those fools intervened with that whole don't lose yourself crap. A few clever words is all it takes to get ahead in this society. Deplorable. With these social connections, I'll have no trouble taking over the Shinogi Chess Club, then the entire school. Power like that is only achievable through the status of a champion such as myself. Aside from the fame, I've also gotten my hands on over 40 million yen in prize money. Now I have everything I need to shape this world how I see fit. But I can't let them see my true potential just yet. I have to take things slow. In time, I'll grow my strength and my influence until there's nothing left I don't control. At that point, I can fully surpass Yuko. I want nothing more than to find her and look her in the eyes when she understands what I've been able to accomplish. I should head over to the club room before they start to worry. <laughs> my megalomania. My megalomaniacal rant over. Uh, let's just, let's go back to the club room. All's well. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. So what's this about, Kaito? I just wanted to say that... Uh... You're the bravest people I've ever known. Get. Do you really mean that? Absolutely. We all faced a problem more dangerous than we could have ever expected. Even knowing that, you stood up to those villains and rose to the occasion. Wow. Kaito's more inspirational than one of my two season animes. Most of the credit belongs to our newest member, Himiko. You're the one who should. You're the one, who you're the one we should be thanking the most. Yes, that's right. Thank me, praise me, kiss my feet. Yes, you've always been protecting our school, even if you did it behind our backs. Yeah, and you totally defeated the evil baddies with your fire breath. I guess I can't escape my dragon-like reputation. That's right, fools, praise me more. Thank you, everyone. I've said this before, but it means a lot that you supported me th You supported me through this. I think, during my time in this club, I faced more trouble than I ever expected. I'm also certain that I found my place in this world. My place on top of this world. Solving this mystery with you all has made me realize that I can make a difference. I wanted to be at the front of at the front row of history. And I believe we've all made a huge impact today. I wonder if there will be history books about us. Oh, maybe an exciting new historical manga. Or even a video game. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. There is one last thing I wanted to settle. It's clear that Kana has lost the respect she earned as vice president of this club. Although we don't have the power to remove her title, we can still make our own decisions about who we look to for guidance. I would suggest that Himiko should lead us, at least until our president returns. M me Yes, you're more than qualified. And you've proven yourself, too. I saw how you handled your opponents in verbal combat. We're all willing to follow you, to accept our proposal and run the Shinogi Chess Club with all of us as your advisors. That's right, fools, I'm in charge now. Kaito, that's... Realistically, we should put Kaito in charge, because he's the real... He's the real brains in this here. It's a lot of responsibility. This is exactly the, the position I need to be in. I'll do it. This is no dictatorship. All of you should come to your own conclusions about how we function and decide for yourselves what to do. The Shinogi Chess Club will live on through each of you. This club is meant to be a space for everyone to bond over the game. And that's right, this is... Make your own decisions, but in the end, it'll all, it'll all fit into my plans. Okay, that's enough of that. So go out and represent our club to the best of your ability. 
Use your skill to make the world a better place, and fight against those that would do it harm. Excellent. Now, who's up for some food? I am. There's no way that I'm paying for the feast that I require. Well, pitch in, but only if Yasu avoids those burritos. Oh. How about we decide who is playing over a friendly game of Shinogi Chess? I think I've been betting enough this week, and it's on me. That's right, a promotion party. Incredible! Come on, honorary president! You gotta witness this feast! I'll be out shortly. Just one more thing I need to check. Suit yourself? What, Himiko? You've earned a bit of rest today. That's for sure. Be quick, okay? We're not gonna stand up our friends because we accidentally decode the data chip. Shinogi Chess is more than just a game. The past few weeks, I've seen people sacrifice everything over their ideas for a better future. The heart of it all. I even sacrificed my own sanity. I'm not going to look back. I won't have any regrets. And there are still questions I don't have answers to. So what is this power I wield? Why am I the one that is able to use it? Why is it... <laughs> Why did this power make me go, uh... Raiden Jack the Ripper, yeah. That subject, why did the Typhoon Initiative know that I might have it? Why did my mom abandon the initiative? And where is she now? At the very least, I know where everything stands now. And there are still goals I need to reach. Yui, seems like a coward just finished the repairs. Hey there. I forgive you for murdering me. I made a lot of friends along the way. They trust me. <laughs> but that don't make you think twice about abusing their hope. They see me as their leader now, exactly as I had planned. All that steps a nudge in the right direction in my power, the scoop will grow beyond measure. it be completely in my control. As for my mother, one thing will be helpful here. During all the commotion last night, I was able to snatch the data chip that Kana told me about. A message from Yuko Mitsaki. I might be able to decipher it. The data might lead me straight to her. If it does, I need to make sure I'm absolutely ready. This won't be easy, but I don't see how this can happen any other way. I'm going to find my mother. And I'm going to kill her. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Jesus. I have high hopes for what happens next. Ever since I played that first match, I felt like I'm finally becoming who I was meant to be. Whether or not people start to see me for whoever I truly am doesn't matter much anymore. Everything keeps calling out to me from beyond its walls. The same words keep coming back to my mind, though I've never spotted the spoken them before. I think this must be the lesson my mother has been trying to teach me over all these years. The idea of it has overtaken my mind. The answers don't matter, just the question. The truth doesn't matter, just the perception. History doesn't matter, just the memory. My ambition was born at the school, crafted by the situation set in motion by the people I hate most. It was by my hand that I carved my own destiny. It should be no surprise that I'm just determined to stay on this path, until I've conquered every enemy that stands in my way. I stand any chance of making them pay for what they did, and I need someone who can hide on the front lines with a kind-hearted persona. It's the only way I'll be able to seize control of this prefecture and confront those that would get in my way. This to work, I need someone who works within the confines of the Himiko Misaki that I presented to the world. Oh yeah? That person is me. Where? Well, both myself have been preparing for this pivotal moment. It will not become once my journey is over remains a complete mystery. So the only question I can ask myself is... Will I be able to take this one step further? Chamber unlocked. Initiative. We finally finished chapter 4. What is happening here? What? Is this the end? Oh shit.
terrible son of a gun. Okay, this is a really cool credit sequence, I'm not gonna lie. Yasu, question mark. Yasu's, Yasu's, Yasu's last name is just Yasu. You know what, say, say what you will about the quality of the voice acting, but, uh... Honestly, for what's probably a first foray into adding voice acting into a game like this, you know what? It was good. Obviously, there's room for improvement, but for, for a first go at adding voice acting, and obviously getting people close to you to do voices for the game, for what it was, it was good. Well done. And I know I said this a few times throughout here that uh, just the quality of the visuals and the environments and stuff, character models, are a definite step up from Burden of Proof. Like a significant step up. It looks really good. Support and thanks for playing. Oh. This is where we're at. Oh, wow. Well, oh, that's pretty. A sign that spring has passed. Is the question now where Himiko's ambitions will lead her? What is this? Himiko? Yui. Alright, Yui. Might as well give this a try. The date chip I acquired from Kana is compatible with Yui's input sockets. With any luck, maybe I'll be able to get Yui to show me the data on this thing. Encryption key found in database. Continue. Huh? Yui had the key for deciphering the encrypted data? No, it can't be. I've had Yui since I was little. My mother was to modify her data archives over five years ago. When the time was right, when you encountered Himiko again, she knew Yui. You could let this message for Kana when the time was right. Just assume that I'd, that I'd meet her at some point, that I'd still keep Yui around. Is this just a coincidence? Or did my mother count on this happening? Your playing message. Alright, let's see it. My name is Yuko Misaki. When I founded the Typhoon Initiative in 2075, I had high hopes for its success. Can you see it? Every day I would devote myself to the cause. We massed an army of capable fighters and revolutionaries to fight our war. We rallied behind a single idea. To stop the spread of Shinogi Chess. It seemed clear to us that the game was like a virus, feeding off the poor and innocent. Gambling and corruption had become widespread. The city turned its back on democracy and left it up to this disgusting test of skill. It's expected it created a snowball effect, causing more corporations to embrace this power and abuse the system. The systems we put in place to save our economy. We fought back, but about four years into our conquest, something changed. I had a child. I, need, I named her Himiko. Oh? 
Suddenly I had two roles. I need to be a mother by day and a resistance leader by night. My time was often split between my responsibilities as a parent and my duty as prime commander. It was difficult managing my time like that. I wasn't a very good mom. Would you forgive me, right, Himiko? Ah, I hope you're listening right now. I know that you must become a t brilliant and talented young woman. I made this message because... I want, you to I want you to succeed where I failed. This organization I've been running it for quite some time. Should this data chip fall into your hands, it's either dead, or I've found an opportunity to start a new life. It feels as though I haven't treated you well. I hadn't treated your father well either. I never told you about him. I'm afraid I didn't know him very well. Not as well as Kana, Kana did. She told me all about him. Are we half sisters? died some time ago. Killed by his own colleagues during one of our demonstrations. My father died during a demonstration. I was devastated. The family he started seemed he started seem so happy together with his daughter. I raised Kana like one of my own. She was my joy and hope. Oh, called that. We have sisters. Can't be. Kana and I shared the same father. Felt immense guilt treating her better than I treated you, Himiko. That's why I've had so many expectations for you. I wanted you to find your purpose in my life's work. Things will be better now. I'm confident that you could become just as skilled as Kana. Your father was the brightest man I've ever known. Let's let us unlock that potential and you can be our most valued warrior. You'll see soon enough. And if you don't understand at first. Since this message has been given to you, you've kept Yui around to listen to it. It'll be in your hands now. I'm trusting you and your sister to lead the Typhoon Initiative. It is made that both of you can work together to make this world a better place. Himiko, you are my hope now. You are the cure to the disease that has plunged this world into chaos. I love you. I'll be waiting for you to find me. On the branches of evil. Oh. Your story will be the key to our final proposition. Find your place and lead us to freedom. Well, it looks like we're going to be falling in with the initiative in our own way. Mom, this is what you planned for me? I can't accept this. I won't work with Kana, no matter who she is to me. You go, Masaki. I'll find you. But I'm not your hope. And I never will be. I'm your despair. Because journey will continue. Well, shit. All right. Ooh, baby. We unlock textures. It's text version, because... Calvin's outtakes. What? What is that? What is this? Adequate testimony. Mine is better. I don't know. That's not real. That's not how lawyers talk. <laughs> Point. Your cross-examination starts now. My voice? It's perfectly normal. Now that's actually not true. You sound like an anime character. Because <laughs> you are. Because you are, yeah, exactly. It's just... That's... I have my thoughts about where the, <laughs> where the plot wound up going, but... All in all, this is, this is very much... Absolutely gave me vibes of a yeah, card game anime of sorts. In a delightful way. An absolutely fantastic way. Satomi. Kana. Himiko. Frost. Cross. That's me. <laughs> this case is open and shut. A vision. I see it. Let's go, Pyra. That's, that's the wrong character. Wrong game. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to wreck Xenoblade Chronicles 2 there? A vision! I see it! Let's go, Pyra... That's, that's the wrong character. Right? <laughs> that's cute. Oh. oh, what are you doing here? 
Oh, I was just listening to my favorite song of all time. Here, you want to listen with me? Here, we, we can each have an earbud. You take this one, I'll take this one. No! Objection! I want the left earbud. You can have the right earbud. Train date with Calvin Cross ASMR. <laughs> That's cute. Bar check nine times. Captured 77 pieces. Lost 72 pieces. You know what? Yeah. Win-win. Local, local PvP workers to Maya. Oh boy. So yeah, that is... Shinogi Chess Club. Part 1. That, that's our swerve here. We got Halo 2'd. We got Halo 2'd here. <laughs> Himiko, what are you doing now? Finishing the fight. Next time, I track down my mother. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, we. I think I said my piece earlier about the visuals, audio. Soundtrack is also pretty great. It's an under, under, underrated part of this game, but the soundtrack is really good. The soundtrack is on sale. I just recently put the soundtrack up for sale on Steam, so check that out if you like what you have heard in this game. I have. I know there's certain points that I wish I wish we had learned more about, but you know what? I like this. But I'll definitely check out but the part two when that comes down the line. When we get to finish the fight, we get to take our chess positions uh, outside the confines of Yoshino. Or inside the confines of Yoshino. You know what, that's a nice... That's a nice... That was a nice twist. Let's say. I suppose. Let's, let's say if I. Thinking about. The gripes I had about the story. Really just came down to. Himiko's irrational hatred and super. and uh, super powered. Uh, Evil side's desire to rise to power and take over the city. It's certainly un unusual, and at times gave me the vibes that we were playing a supervillain origin story. <laughs> Which I don't know if that was the intent, but that is very much how Himiko came off at times. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely enjoyed that. But, and I think once we actually start to learn about Himiko's backstory, like more in depth, we have, we got bits and pieces. We know that Himiko's mom abandoned her. Himiko's father died, so she's an only child. We know that Himiko, something happened five years ago that changed everything. Caused Yuka Masaki to leave. Caused Himiko to become extremely fucking bitter towards another to the point that she now wants to tear down everything she built and kill her. Kill her! We know that, uh... 
Himiko was well aware that her mother was the head of the Typhoon Initiative. I guess... I'm guessing... It would make more sense for the actual details of that to uh, come out in the second part of Himiko's story. The, the, the season two, if you will. But... I can make assumptions. My assumption is that Whatever happened five years ago, Himiko, it's a bit unclear whether she remembers it or if she's blocked it out and just remembers it as a blocked out trauma. But whatever happened five years ago, intentional or not, was enough to uh, spark that this deep seated trauma. That manifests as her uh, desire to crush her mother, trample her underfoot, and ruin her entire ambitions. It's not entirely clear what Himiko wants to do beyond that, but I'm not sure where the direction of this topic of conversation is going, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. Which is really... The story got where it wanted to go, but... If there's anything I could be critical of, it's that I wish there was a bit more story along the way to fill in the gaps along the way. Because I know it's come up in like, my comment section a few times that they wish there was more of the spring championships than just uh, opening round match, then we take a break for a whole chapter to do some legal legal nonce. Which realistically kind of det detracts from the whole uh, Typhoon Initiative plot. Then when we get back to the Spring Championships, then all of a sudden, we're in the finals. And we have our uh, stealth match against Ka Stealth match against Kana. We'll reveal a lot more about the finals at the Typhoon Initiative. And we have our actual final match against Kana. And then that's pretty much it. This whole massive Spring Championships tournament, we only get two matches in it. I suppose in that sense, I... I don't know, maybe... I'm not sure what the best way would have been to flesh things out a bit more. Maybe just like a chapter in between three and four to kind of give that buffer between the, the uh, Calvin Cross chapter and the, the, the game's climax. Where we just, where Himiko just runs through a few dummy opponents in the ch in the tournament. In the meantime, slowly advancing. The story, of the Typhoon Initiative, and Kana's presence too. Maybe we build into that more than.
Like, if that that buffer chapter would be a bright opportunity to show Kiana's attitude changing a little bit more as things go on and things get tenser in the tournament life. And it gives him more of a chance to discuss Zone 8 and uh, the uh, chess crimes and uh, chess classism which is a serious problem in this universe which understandably gets, adop gets adopted by those in power and inevitably once it's adopted by those in power it's taken advantage of and used to trample people underfoot simple As a result, we've created this institution that's ingrained in society that needs to be destroyed because it's actively being abused. And held over the heads of those downtrodden. By it, and those who... Yeah, those less fortunate are easily exploited and games weighted against them to take them for everything they have and created this horribly exploitative society against those people where the people with the money thrive and can easily bend the rules to stomp on the people who don't have the money. Chess skill is your clout. And even then, even if you have the chess skill, you don't have the money and the connections, you can still be, be trampled underfoot and taken advantage of. See Calvin Cross. How he essentially got blackmailed in that second trial match. Also see how Calvin's grandfather uh, didn't prosecute all these chess crimes because all that sweet, sweet chess moolah. It's a really interesting world. Which is very befitting of a card game anime. And they've created a opposing force to it with a uh, reasonable motivation. I suppose the lacking question that I wish to get a bit more time is Himiko's motivation. Himiko's motivation and her place in it all. It's a very personal question to it, but we don't get to know that. And I can only assume that we'll get to learn that, know that in the future. I can only hope that we get to know that in the future. I just wish that we got a bit more of it in Season 1, so to speak. I'm going to call this Season 1 because that just seems fitting. Alright. I think that's it. Yeah. We have text credits, and the final cutscene credits, Calvin's ad takes. We can do local PvP. Oh gosh. Normal. Tundra. Got fate performance. One. Can we play CPU? Chess? Alright. I come back to that on my own time, just for the hell of it. Alright. That note I've rambled on enough. This will be it for the Shinogi Chess Club. Until season two. Until then, stay tuned. And stay chessy. Shinogi Checkmate. <laughs>